Sitting. I asked you to come to the park where we can both sit. If you mention that bench again... Don't pull it. We're going in this joint now. Come on, sharpshooter. Look it out, will you? Oh, oh. It's me. Clumsy. Somebody tripped me. Oh, good evening. Thank you, sir. Yeah, table 14. Just a moment, please. Oh, good evening, sir. Thank you, sir. Charles, table 14. Just a moment, please. Why do you get all this just a moment, please? Why can't we get in there? I'm sorry, ma'am. There's no more room. I mean, no more room. Say, Bonnie Bell, maybe we'd better go someplace else, a movie or something. I'm hungry. I don't want to see pictures. I want to eat. Don't shh me. Oh, I know. I Rest know. of guinea hen, $15. Green peas, three dollars. Coffee, one dollar. And a ten dollar cover charge. 
cheapskate. He oughtn't to come in here if he can't afford it. Breast a guinea hen. That's what I'm gonna have to eat. Okay, boys, take five. Ah, good evening, sir. Thank you. Philip, table 18. Hey, I only get that stuff once a month. Good evening, Captain. Oh, good evening, madam. Joseph? A ringside. Joe! Table 287. Shows you what money will do. I'm getting tired. Go on, I'm just working up an appetite. Hey, funny fella, we going uphill. Hey, Joe, you better get a compass. Must be an elevator. What is this, an alley? Maybe we ought to go someplace else, Bonnie Bell. I know swell chili parlor down the street. Chili bowl. Deep in the heart of Texas. Texas. How do you like that? A lucky stiff. I break my neck trying to get in the army. Instead, they take Harry. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see that. Flat feet. I haven't even got flat feet. One flat foot, that's all. Just one. They can't do that. I'll say they can. Not for one foot. They can't draft Harry. Oh, that. Harry? Is he being drafted? What does he have to go? What are we going to do? Give me a cigarette, John. I can fight. I'm ready. I want to go. Do they take me? No. They're drafting a guy right in the prime of his life. Why couldn't he have had my flat foot? Hey! What? Who? You. Oh, my gosh, she likes it. 
What is this, the wake? What's wrong? Somebody get fired? He's in a draft. No kidding! With a uniform and everything? For how long? I don't know. It's the first contract I ever had without options. Boy, if I was a man, that's where I'd be. Yeah, me too. Huh? One foot. Just one flat foot. That's two flat foot now. What goes on here, James? How much of a rest do you need? Well, I... Get out there and get busy or there'll be a new band here tomorrow. Say, look, how do you get off to talk like that to us? We're the greatest trumpet player in the world. Ain't we, Harry? You think you're so smart, get yourself a new band. What? You heard me. After tonight, Harry don't play here anymore. We quit. You... You what? Now, just a minute, James. You can't do this to me. I'll take it up with the Union. Union, he says. Ha, 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 Union. You'll have to take it up with the Army, pal. They got a priority on Harry. <laughs> the Army can't do that to me. I'm a good citizen. I pay my taxes and I demand my rights. Okay, okay. Come on, fellas. Let's give him his floor show, but good. And for the last time. That's the first time I ever saw a pair of shoes with three heels. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the cafe. It's where we're sitting. Get out there. Oh, I'll give you the chair. Here. You mean on here? Is that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. And the other. Okay. Now, you watch what I say. It'll be better out here. Maybe that wall goes up. And we see a park or something. Will you stop talking about that park? Well, they said they're going to have fireworks tonight. There are going to be fireworks right here if you don't... What is this? A fairway? If I'm not too inquisitive, what is this? Oh. You got a union card? No. What are you doing with that tray in your hand? You gave it to me. You took it right out of my hand. I did not. Watch your step in here, buddy. What kind of a joint is this? He's right. Wait. I'll cut it. Cut it out, Dave. There's a band playing someplace. Shh. Now, what were you saying, Bunny Bell? There's a band playing someplace. Yes, I do hear a little bit someplace. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's move this to where we can see something. You can't do that. Come on, pipe down and give me a lift. Oh, all right, all right. Just straight ahead, that's all. What are you doing? What are you doing? Getting closer to the music, ain't we? Sure. I hear humming and buzzes. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing there? Wait a minute, I'm getting dizzy. It's my lieutenant. That's what I call service. It's wonderful. You just think for us the guinea pig, and there it is. I didn't think of nothing, and there it is. <laughs> what is this? Look, I had my coat button. Oh, thank you. Oh. Harry, we'll go from the strains of Rigoletta back to the strains of Rigamortis. Some time ago, I saw Gone with the Wind, a picture from a book that I read. And since I've seen Gone with the Wind, the South has gone to my head. Say, I love the South. There's nothing finer than to be in Carolina or in Tennessee. Yes, I love the South. Cause Alabama, old Kentucky, my old mammy, means so much to me. 
And when they mention the states above the old MD line, all I can say is, bah, I pardon our accent, that I make a beeline for Atlanta, gah, New Orleans, la, the Mississippi River, and Norfolk, bah, I love the town. Whenever I hear someone mention Stonewall Jackson, I begin to cheer. Yes, I love the South. I love Virginia and New Jersey. How on earth is Jersey getting here? And I love to sing, shortened and bread, with a hunk of sugar cane in my mouth. Hey, the cotton fields are very milky. Bust my hair and call me Wilkie. Yes, sirree, I'm from the South. Say, I went down south a while ago, just from a short vacation, and I overheard the most intriguing southern conversation. Said North Carolina to South Carolina, how do you do? How do you do? Said South Carolina to North Carolina, how are you? And how are you? Then in North Virginia, feeling depressed, Carolina said, what's got me? She said, I'm depressed. I think I'll go west. So Virginia went west, became West Virginia. Then New Orleans said to old Orleans, what they say about Dixie is true. Then South Carolina said to North Carolina, who do you like in the fifth? How do you do? Oh, I love the South. I think you're four or five or six or seven, eight or nine or ten or six. Yes, I love the South. I love Virginia and New Jersey. What the heck is Jersey want for me? And I love to be with men are no best, like those cigarette tobacco auctioneers. You know what time it is? It's three o'clock. <laughs> This is a private party, see? You know, it's the first time I ever saw a face with a belt in the back. Scram! Why, a dope, I'm having fun. Are y'all really from the South, like you said in that song? Yes, but I just ran fresh out of you all. Well, I sure want to thank y'all for returning our guinea pig. Oh, that's all right. What's your name? My name is Bonnie Bell. What's yours? Just call me Biff. Bugsy, you all want to buy a bit for a little drink. Oh, he don't want a drink. He's a singer. It's bad for his pipes. You all have got to have a drink. Well, if you insist, I should have a bicarbonate float, but I'll have a champagne cocktail instead. Waiter, two champagne cocktails, please. Listen to you. Are you going to scram it? Do I have to get tough? Oh, don't be vulgar. Sit down, please. Now, Biff, don't you pay no heed to him. Look, Sergeant, are you going to sit down, or do I have to get tough about it? Oh! Won't you all sit down, slugger? Say, did you ever wrestle for Harvard? I don't have to stand for this kind of stuff. Hey, waiter, bring me the check. Yes, sir. I bring a girl in here, and what happens? A guy comes in, sits down. What is that, asthma? Let me see. Oh, that's OK. You've been here since New Year's Eve. You got any money with you? No. I had dough when I come in. I had a pocket full. In fact, I had it in a wallet. Not that. Her engagement ring. I can only get five bucks on it. Oh. Stand up. There's a lady with us. So you've had it in hock before. No, I didn't, honest. Why, I... I walked by and... Get... Oh! Oh, if you weren't wearing glasses. You see that, don't you? I'm deadly. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without them. And I'd rather... Mm. Sit down, shorty. Now, where were we? Who cares about that? Where are we all going? <laughs> there were three little sisters, three little sisters, and each one only in her teens. One loved a soldier, one loved a sailor, and one loved a lad from the Marines. The three little sisters, they were the fairest from Iceland down to New Orleans. So said the soldier, so said the sailor, and so said the lad from the Marines. And when the boys marched away, the girls said they'd be 
true until the boys came back someday. Now the three little sisters, three little sisters, stay home and read their magazine. You can tell it to the soldiers, tell it to the sailors, and tell it to the Marines. <laughs> Loved a soldier, one loved a sailor boy, and I loved the land from the marine. Oh, my two little sisters, they were the fairest of all from Iceland directly to New Orleans. So said the soldier, so said the sailor boy, so said the guy from the marine. And when the boys marched away, Tell me you guys are enlisting, too. Yeah, we're enlisting. We're waiting for Harry to take his physical. He won't pass it, though. He still has his tonsils. Oh, where's the recruiting sergeant? Say, what are you two Boy Scouts doing here? Oh, we want to... <clears throat> we we, we want to join the Army. If they won't take you, you're too young. Who's, Who's too, too young? young? Look, you got to be over 18 to join the Army. Oh, you have to be over 18, huh? Come on, Donnie. Well, fellas, look, look, he's smiling. You didn't make it. Don't kid yourself. The doc says I'm in perfect shape. That's the stuff, Harry. Stick around. I'll be right with you. You mean you're joining up? Well, sure. They can't keep me out now. Next. Hi, Sarge. What, again? Yeah. Now, look, I told you a dozen times there's no place in the Army for flat feet. Who's got flat feet? All right, one flat foot. Not anymore. I got two of the nicest arches you ever saw. The doctor said so. Okay, I'll give you another chance. Report to the examining officer. Thanks. Gentlemen. Uh, can we have... <clears throat> uh, can we have an application, Sergeant? Are you two men over 18? Sure. Sure. Here are your applications. Wait a minute, you two. I saw what happened over there. What's the idea of lying about your age? We didn't lie. Not much. You're not over 18 and you know it. Oh, oh no? no? Pardon me. I made it. I made it. I'm in the army now. I'm on my way and how. As one, one of a mob that's doing a job, we're in the army now. The monkey men will soak you. Hollywood. The monkey men will soak you. Hollywood. They'll find it all no joke you when they get us with kicking their Tokyo. Hinky dinky Hollywood. Oh, my Mr. Amplify. between army routine and civilian life. In the past weeks, you've probably known that. Now we start our intensive training program. It won't be easy, but I know that you'll all respond, realizing that we're all together fighting a common cause. Sergeant? Take charge of the company. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, Reveille will be at 5 a.m. instead of 6. 
This company will fall in at 6.30 for target practice. Company, dismiss! Hey, Snavel. Sergeant Snavel, are you? All right, Sergeant Snavel. Why do I have to go to this target practice? So we can teach you to shoot an army rifle. Teach me? I've been shooting for years. I could probably teach you guys a few things. Prentice, play period's over. You heard what the captain said. This is war. Oh, fall in, fall out. Target practice. I came to the army to fight, not to go to school. You see this? Yeah. Took me years of hard work to earn them, and I'm proud to live up to all they represent. Now, go get your gun to report back here. Oh, I think the whole setup's cockeyed. I'm in good condition. I can shoot a gun. Why do I have to train? Why don't you tell the captain your troubles? All right, I will. Where is he? Over there, and he'd love to see you. That's good enough for me. Hey, which one of you guys is Harry James? Here. Private James, a sergeant major's appointed you company bugler. Company bugler? How about that, a bugle boy at my age? <laughs> Must be a bird or something in here. <laughs> the greatest trumpet player in the world, and he can't blow a bugle. <laughs> I think there's a great deal of merit in your complaint, Private Prentice. A man with your capability shouldn't be forced to do things against his wishes. Lieutenant Mason, if there are any duties that Private Prentice doesn't care to perform, he's to be excused. Yes, sir. Make that in order. I think that'll take care of it, Private Prentice. Thank you, Captain. That boy's in for a lot of trouble. What makes you think so, Captain? About 20 years ago at the Academy, a cadet had the same idea. What happened? Hadn't you noticed? I sometimes walk with a slight limp. Here they come. Gosh! Oh, I wish the chief would get here. Chief? Hi. You're late, Chief. Well, what detained you? Oh, well, that's different. I got the traps all set. I followed your plans exactly. Oh, don't you like it? But it works. Here, I'll show you. These spy traps are a great idea, Chief. Watch. Do you think this is the right spot for the proving ground? Hey, Sarge, this doesn't look right. I'm running this. You two guys stay right where you're at. I gotta get my bearings now. I wish I had my compass with me. If you'll go... And... Hey, you guys, where are you? Hey, fellas! Here we are, Sarge. No, not you. Just a minute ago, there were two fellas right here. Right in this very spot. I turned my back and they're gone. So I said to... What's going on around here? Hey, fellas, where are you? Hey, fellas, where are you? What's the matter, Sarge? Now, listen, soldiers, there's something screwy going on around here. Line up. Tension. Count off. One, two, three, four. Now, if you'll go... <clears throat> Quit clowning, fellas. Wild strawberries. Come on, Prentice, fall in with the rest of the gang. Where is the gang? Now, look, Prentice, if this is a joke, let's quit playing. All right, men, fall in. We did fall in. Where are you? Down here. Down where? Down here. Oh, one of those ventriloquists, eh? I well, didn't. Well, cut out this Charlie McCarty stuff. I didn't. Do... I saw your lips move. Oh, strawberries. Raspberries. Then nuts. Oh, a fruit compote, eh? Smart guy, spread out. Look around. Reconnoiter. No kidding, fellas. Where are you? We're right under your feet. It's like a tunnel. I'll march you out of there. Attention! Right shoulder. Arms! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I guess I'm, the... <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. I guess somebody took down the signs from the proving grounds. Proving grounds? What signs? Oh, we always put up signs whenever Uncle sets some of his spy traps up. Oh. So this is a trap. Yes, an infantry trap. Uncle must have been taking his tonic again. <laughs> Ow, oh, 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 You throw, you fly out of my father! I have... Oh. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Choo, choo, 
to Broadway through Cincinnati in a Jeep that was built for the six of us. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. This is a taxi cab to Hackensack. We're going up to camp and back and we're ready. We're six jerks in a Jeep. Six creeps in a Jeep that leaps. Now here we come. Beep, beep. We're six jerks in a Jeep. We're six whacks in a hack. Six quacks here to send you jack. Now look here, Max, no cracks. We're six whacks and a hack. The Jeep goes jumping and a bumping along. Gonna knock you right off your seat. Here we come romping and stomping a song. Or dig it with the reed beat. We're six jerks in a Jeep. Six gleeps in a Jeep that weeps. Now here we go, beep, beep. We're six jerks in a Jeep. Just a romping along in our jeep. Beep beep doo doo tla da da. Beep beep doo doo tla da da. We're six heels on a wheel. Da 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 da. Schlam meals on a wheel that were real. We're looking, looking for a meal. We're six heels on a wheel. Monstrosity. Girls, will you please leave? Turn out the guard. I'll murder this guy. I'll tear him apart. <laughs> cut it out. Hello, double ugly. Hey, cut it out, you two. We're supposed to be fighting the Japs, not ourselves. By my dough, he's a Jap. That I resent. And if it wasn't for those stripes... Oh, don't let those stripes stop you. What's your excuse now? Take off your skin and I'll fight you. <laughs> Corporal, I know there's something wrong with this bugle. Watch me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it like this. Oh, I could play that one, too, if I knew it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ah, the music. Hold it still. special privileges. Please excuse me, Mr. Prentice. That's okay, Sergeant. Prescott, you replace Prentice. What? You heard me. I'm sick and tired of doing your work, Prentice. Oh, that's too bad. I've been getting all the details that you turned down, and I don't like it. So what? Oh, why do I have to do your work? I'm smart. If I thought as much of the Army as you, I'd get out, you slacker. Hold it, Prescott. Don't hurt the nightingale. The bite's a little soft. Yeah. You're a disgrace to that uniform. No, oh, that Prescott's a jerk. Guard duty. That's not for me. 
I did mine. Come on, kid, get your stuff on. We'll go to the dance, huh? to my sister. You will? For a quarter. Oh, she's pretty. It's a deal. Hey, sis, I want you to meet. Oh, so it's you again. Met before? Met before? Say, she tried to drown me. Is this what I had to pay a quarter for? Take a What have you been charging money for? To meet you. Give it here. And the rest of them. You're the sixth man she's introduced me to tonight. All right. What are you going to do with that money? Well, I'm going to buy saving stamps with it. Things must be pretty difficult for you if you have to pay a quarter for a blind date. Anybody who pays a quarter to meet you is getting robbed, ma'am. Oh, is that so, sir? Yes. Why don't you get out of here before you get yourself into trouble? Get out? Sure, this place is reserved for soldiers. Well, this place is also my home. Well, you don't mind if I look in occasionally, do you? Well, I thought that Colonel Weatherford... The Colonel's my uncle. My sisters and I live here with him. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Well, who said you were? Well, George. Oh, Lieutenant, this is private... Apprentice, yes, we've met before. Well, honey, I guess I'd better get back to camp. Well, so soon, Howard. Well, I'll see you for lunch tomorrow. Good night. Oh, Lieutenant, haven't you forgotten something? Pardon me. Well... 
stuffed shirt. You haven't got a good word for anybody, have you? I think he's rather nice. Yes, I guess they all fall for those fancy uniforms. Hey, do you always carry on like this? Look, if I never see you again... It'll be too soon. Why don't you forget that guy? You know, I used to be a big shot myself before I got into this man's army. Oh, really? How interesting. And uh, what did you do, Mr. Prentice? What? Well, don't you ever listen to the radio? Oh, certainly. Oh, you were Harry James' vocalist. Harry James' vocalist? Well, I was a featured singer. I had my own program on the air. Oh, well, I'm afraid that all crooners sound alike to me. I don't croon. Ago, I asked you for a drink of water. Let him go. Why don't you go? I'm your financier, ain't I? Will you buy me a same stamp for a quarter? Well, uh... Bonnie Bell, I'm gonna get you that water. <sighs> Bonnie Bell, I had a dream about you last night. How thoughtful of you. I dreamt I put my arms around your waist, and on your lips, I placed a kiss. I've sipped from many a cup, but never a mug like this. That's beautiful. 
for me? May I? Oh, please do. I got that bottle about the red nutmeg strangers. Huh? I got that bottle about the red nutmeg strangers. Okay. Okay, kid. Isn't it long past your bedtime? Don't you want to go out and play? Don't you want some ice cream? What do you want? I want to walk. Here's your water, Bonnie Bell. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Thanks, pal. Was it refreshing, Bonnie Bell? <laughs> the ring, where did you get it? Him! Why, you snake in the grass? After I sold you the pawn ticket, you turned You what? Oh! Bonnie Bell, I'll tell you how it happened. I was walking down the street and I, I bumped into him. See what you had to go to Wigan do, you? I, don't tell me I, I. I asked you faithfully not to say I, I would have. Don't. Snape yes, Bonnie Bell. You see, she's sorry. <laughs> Line. Yeah, I know it. Now, you, uh, you want to walk back to camp with me? No, you go ahead, kid. I'll see you later. Hello. Nice night, isn't it? You're gonna miss Tap. So what? Tell him to sue me. That was called for quarters. You're supposed to turn in. Not on a night like this. Quite a moon, isn't it? You better head for camp, soldier. You're just looking for trouble. Not me. I'm a privileged character. Haven't you heard? How nice. Yes, sir. Nice moon. You said that. Say, Joyce, you don't mind if I call you Joyce, do you? No, I don't mind. Good. Let's sit down. I repeat, mighty pretty moon. You know, you could be nice if you have tried. I am nice. You just don't appreciate me, that's all. Lon, doesn't it make any difference to you that you're the most unpopular man in camp? All I care about is how I stand with you. You don't care if your own buddies think you're a heel, is that it? I'm only interested in one thing. How I stack up with Lieutenant Howard Mason. For your private information, Lon Prentice, I think you're a selfish, stubborn, conceited idiot. You are in love with that guy. Why shouldn't I be? Why should you be? Because he happens to be my brother. Your brother? I, I thought your name was Weatherford. My uncle's name is Weatherford. Good night, Mr. Prentice. Brother, huh? Not a bad guy. I think I'm gonna like Lieutenant Mason. Hey, Lon, you're not getting up. Sure. Well, I was first calling on Miss Call. I know, and I'm going to get out with the fellas. How do you like that? You know, I'll learn to play this bugle before I leave here if it's the last thing I do. I'm afraid that's going to be impossible before you leave here. Yeah, what makes you think so? I heard a rumor that this outfit's taking a boat. When? Very soon. All in! Come on, snap into her there. Dress up, dress up there. Come on now, will you? Ten, Jen, answer the roll call. Right shoulder. Arms. Allen. Here. Irwin. Here. Paula. Here. Prentice. Here. Get in line. Get in there. All drills and details for this company suspended for today. All leaves canceled and men confined to camp. Roll packs and be prepared for inspection at any time. Company dismissed. Sounds like it. Yeah, there's something in the air. Anemic told me he heard it at headquarters. Yeah? Oh, boy, no details today. All right, McAllister, once more. Hold on to the peace this time and do it like you mean it. Make believe he's your worst enemy. Try and think of somebody you hate. Think of somebody you hate. Come on now, try it again. 
Well, that's great. In fact, that's wonderful. Who are you thinking of? You and that bugler. Hey, Sarge, you mind if I try that? Uh, no, not at all. Go right ahead. Try to think of somebody you can hate. That's easy. And who are you thinking about, soldier? Dope named Prentice. All right, gang, come on, cut out the lethargy. Hello, Sarge. You looking for me? Yeah, I wanted you to get your things together. Oh, I'll be ready as soon as the rest of them are. When you get your things packed, report to Major Evans, the adjutant. You've been transferred to camp headquarters. Transferred? Well, camp headquarters are permanent detail. Say, what is this? I want to be with the gang. That's one special privilege you won't get. Lieutenant. Hi, you big shot. They transferred me to headquarters. Well, you should like that. No fall in and fall out. And they don't have target practice. I'm serious, Joyce. Lieutenant, you've got to help me. I've got to go with the boys. They don't need me, but I need them. I'll do anything. Well, I think you're a little late, Francis. But I'll do what I can. Thank you, sir. I've got to report to Major Evans. Tag along. Come here. Get in. I told you what you'd get if you came over here, didn't I? Deep in the heart of Texas. I know it's my fault. I asked for it. All I want is a chance to prove I'm not such a heel. You really want to be a soldier, don't you? Yes, sir. One of the first things a soldier learns is to take orders, whether he thinks the orders are right or wrong. I'll take orders, sir. You must learn to respect the judgment of your officers. Yes, sir. In this case, your superior officers feel that until you're properly trained, your place is here and not at the front. We're not thinking of you, Prentice. We're thinking of the men alongside of you. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, Harry, what about the show tonight? Tonight? Why haven't you heard? We're putting it on this afternoon. The way these rumors are flying around, we may not even be here then. Shh. Servant silence. In this spot, I'm supposed to introduce the Andrew sisters, but that won't be necessary. I found out that they knew each other. 
I should have stood in bed.
Lon Prentice, a great fella, a great voice. Calling all miners, assembly liners, the men on the board of directors. and the baker. We've all got a fight if we want to live our lives. Freedom will ring. Freedom will ring. Those fellows up at the front, they're really bearing the front. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. If we expect them to win, come on, we'll have to dig in. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. we got to back up that fleet until our enemies meet their Waterloo. The boys in khaki and blue are all dependent on you. We've got a job to do. Those fellows up at the front, they're really bearing the front. We've got a job to do. We expect them to win. Come on, we'll have to dig in. We've got a job to do. We've got to back up that fleet until our enemies meet their Waterloo. The boys in baggy and blue are all depending on you. We've got a job to do. All men will report to quarters and fall in immediately with full packs and equipment. Bugler, sound assembly. Corky, Corky! Here's a going away present for you. Gee, thanks. Aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? Sure. Vampire.
Private Prentice, if you were in my uniform and I was in yours, would you allow me to go? No, sir. That's the right answer, Prentice. Get going. Get... Yes, sir. Cut out that saluting and get going. Keep on forging that steel until the last time. 